dandelion seeds. We've all seen them, water drops on them. This is my version of them using the Adaptilux lighting system. Things you're going to need. Dandelion seeds of course. I have here a few which I picked a couple of days ago. Dried them out to the nice and fluffy. A pair of tweezers. Essential for this. The Adaptilux lighting system. I'll be using a red, blue and green arm for this and a white. I have the filters down here. Camera of course. I'm using a 24-105 lens uh, with a uh, extension tube on it. I have here the object that's going to hold the dandelion seeds. If you've seen me do a previous episode, I've done the fine art glass. I had a broken glass. Uh, I'm now using the stem with a bit of blue tech on the end to hold the dandelion seeds. Of course I've also got a spray mister full of plain water and a blunt ended needle just for putting a single water drop on. Right, what we first need to do is get a suitable dandelion seed. Just a single one, preferably one which has got a lot of upgoing outside bristles on it. This helps hold the water in place. Got the bottom of the seed, just stick it into the piece of blue tack. Like that. Right, got it focused. Now I'm going to do a couple of test shots, remembering to turn off the ambient light to start with. Doesn't add any unwanted highlights. Right, first thing to do is get a drop of water balanced on the end of the seed, using of course the blunt nosed needle. Not easy to do, need a few attempts moving the seed head around until it's kind of cup shaped so it holds the water drop there. Otherwise, it just keeps falling off. If you've had to move it around, make sure to remember to check your focus. Then take a couple of test shots. Now I'm going to start adding colour. If you'd noticed, I've got white backgrounds on. What I'll be doing here is using the colour lights of the adapter looks onto the background. That will give reflective light back through the water drop. On the seed itself, will be the white light, moving it around, powering it up and down, just to give a bit of reflectiveness on the actual bristles of the seed itself. I like starting with the red, it's just a preference. You can use anything colour you want. Always keep checking the back of the picture, see what you've got in frame. Right, now what I'm going to do is add water droplets to all the bristles on the uh, seed. You do this by adding water with the demister, making sure you protect the camera at the same time. All I just put to do is put a cloth over the end of the camera just to protect it. Making sure you aim it away from the adapter looks of course. Keeping it about a good foot apart. Just spraying like that. It just adds up layer upon layer of fine mist and eventually the water drops will coalesce into nice big droplets of which we can take photographs of. Of course doing this as you can see the head of the seed has gotten heavier, moved around, so now I've got to be careful and try and get a reach focused shot. That's why I've put my that's why I've put this on a rotating platform. Of course, putting the water on the seed makes the seed move. You need to refocus again. Luckily, I put my seeds on a rotating table. 
in this case a cake stand so I can move it around very gently till I get the nice position I want and then refocus once you've found a shot you're happy with start moving the lights around again changing the colour in the background adding a bit more colour of interest There we go. It's as simple as that.